Okay guys, in this video I will discuss about the design forces that need to be considered for pipe rack design. Okay, and this is of course here you can see that based on the requested topic. Okay, so if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and also don't forget to press the bell icon so that in future you can be benefited. Okay, so what are the forces you need to consider? So in this video, I am assuming that you are a beginner and uh, for the first time you are being introduced with the pipe rack and the design of a pipe rack okay and in that case what are the main forces which must be considered or with which you should be familiar with i am going to discuss all about that okay so let's start so at the very first you know that for constructing any type of structure you need to use some member and these members will have some self weight okay so at the very first type of loading that is self weight now come to the second type of load okay so in any type of pipe rack you can see that there are different type of uh, supporting system for pipe for the lever or for some uh, cable tray or instrument something like that okay so to design the pipe rack, you must have to consider the dead load for all these platforms, okay, or if there is any type of instrument or if there is any, uh, you can say that cable tray like this, okay, electrical tray, okay, you know that to run any type of refinery system or processing system, the electrical is the must component, and in that case, to provide the cable you need to provide this type of tray here you can see these are the cable tray so of course this tray will have some uh, dead load so you have to consider it okay and also at the top floor or at any intermediate floor to operate all this instrument or the machinery you need to provide some platform and this is nothing but the grating platform system so all of this platform will also have some dead load and you need to consider that okay and this dead load is completely different from the self weight in case of a self weight we have considered the weight of the structural member but here the dead load is for the other part like this platform like the instrument like the cable tray etc okay so we have considered the self weight and the dead load now Come to the live load of course when you have considered this platform and you know that to operate this instrument of course there will be some lever okay or any human force so to consider the load coming from those levers or the human forces you need to consider the live load based on the codal provision maximum port newton per meter square is sufficient okay so this is all about the live load and now come to the operating load this is the main type of load okay so here the operating load is mainly due to the pipe okay the pipe rack by definition is due to provide the support of different pipes okay so the pipes when the plant or the process unit is not running then the pipe is simply empty it will have some empty load on this supporting beam or the supporting structure but when the pipe is in an operating condition it will be filled with the liquid okay related to your process unit so you have to consider the operating load but don't worry as a civil engineer or structural engineer we, we do not need to uh, calculate what is the operating load all this operating load or the empty load or other type of load which are associated with the pipe they are given by the piping department okay so all this load which are associated with the pipe they are given to you you just need to put the value in your uh, analysis okay so this is about the operating load and one more thing in case of the operating load if the diameter of the pipes are very small 
okay in that case you can consider uh, an udl load based on the codal position okay but if the diameter of uh, the pipes are more than let's say 8 inches okay uh, in my cases i normally use the uh, standard as 8 inches if the diameter of the pipe is more than 8 inches in that case i consider the individual load for that pipe okay but if the diameter is less than 8 inches in that case i simply apply the udl okay now based on your requirement you have to consider it okay and now this is all about operating load and definitely when the plant or the process unit is shut down or it is not operating then you have to consider the uh, empty load for the pipe now you may ask that operating load of course operating load is greater than empty load you may think that if we consider the operating load which is higher than the empty load then our design is safe okay well you are correct but let's say you are supposed to use the modular construction concept what is that in that case the structure is pleated in different parts okay they are fabricated in the soft then transported then at the site they get assembled okay so if you do not know what is the empty weight of all these pipes then how you will consider how much capacity crane is required okay or indirectly you can say that you cannot analyze the lifting condition for your module pipe rack module so to analyze the lifting condition you must have to know what is the empty weight not only that you have already lifted now you have to transfer this module to the site of course how yes by transportation so if you do not know what is the empty weight of all these pipes along with the dead load of the member or the self weight of the member you cannot decide the capacity of the truck okay so that is why empty load is so much important right now there is another type of piping load of course all of this load will be given to you from piping department okay you need not to worry about it but you have to take care all of this load so that your structure is safe in all conditions right okay so why friction load let's say this is a pipe okay you have installed this and this is one support this is another support now when this pipe is operating okay so it will have some liquid or fluid and definitely the temperature of the fluid will be much high and as a result of this the pipe tends to elongate and due to this thermal effect what will happen in this support there will be some friction so due to this friction the uh, if you consider this beam or this beam in plan you can see that this is a support this is another support and your pipes are running like this so all of this point what will happen there will be some lateral forces and your beam try to bend like this along the minor axis which is very dangerous so you must have to consider all this lateral load that is coming from friction to design this beam of the rack this beam or this beam or here this beam okay along this minor axis so that is why friction load is so important and there is another type of lateral load that is coming from pipe which is known as your anchorage load and that anchorage load is mainly coming where the pipes are being attached with the beam these are located mainly at the bend okay here you can see these are the bend of the pipe okay so in this bend location you must have to consider the anchorage load okay so this is all about the pipe load okay now come to other type of loads that will occur to your structure from nature like wind load earthquake load okay so here you can see that i have used either wind load or earthquake load okay why normally in any type of structure either 
the wind load is governing or the earthquake load is governing that is why i have used oblique sign okay so i am not going into the detail of this type of load calculation these are familiar to you based on the codal provision you can calculate the wind load or the earthquake load okay and one more thing here you can see this sir what are this what are you thinking if you are beginner uh, if i was a beginner in that case my answer would be well these are the antennas right but no these are not antennas actually here the electrical cable tray will be placed this pipe rack is actually under construction and that is why the trays are not visible okay so the electrical cable trays will be run through these layers okay so these are not antennas right so this is about wind load and earthquake load and here you can see i was uh, once upon a time i was associate with a pipe rack design in uh, alberta canada okay so in alberta if you are familiar with the place alberta or more specifically it was fort saskatchewan in alberta okay so there the winter temperature varies normally from minus 20 degrees centigrade to minus 30 degree and what would be the result this is the result here you can see that along with the operating load dead load cell void everything there is another member who is also putting some load to your pipe rack what is that yes snow load very very important snow load based on the codal provision you must have to consider this snow load if you are designing your pipe rack for your uh, northern america especially okay so finally we have come to equipment load okay so this is a complete module of a pipe rack and here you can see that uh, in association with this large diameter pipes okay the cable trays everything is visible here these are the cable trays these are the pipes this is the bend so of course here will be some anchorage load okay and uh, here you can see that we have platforms okay so in this platform and this is the topmost platform and this is also known as dance floor okay so in this dance floor here you can see that there are lots of drum set structure these are nothing but the coolers during the operation of any process unit lots of heats are generated to reduce that heat you must have to use some cooler okay so this cooler uh, are known as equipment in structural term and this equipment of course will have some load in empty condition when the uh, plant is not you can say operating and it will have some operating load when the plant is operating so in both the cases you have to consider the equipment load again the equipment load will be provided from that vendor who is actually providing this equipment you just have to put the load in your structure okay so this is all the basic load about the pipe rack which you must have to consider and if you like this video don't forget to share it